What's up everybody? Welcome back to BDGC. We're here for our second disc review. This month we have the Berg in the K2 Plastic by Castaplast. Huge thanks to Disc King for allowing us to do this. This is part of his Know the Sports subscription service where you sign up and once a month you get a disc by a different company. So make sure you check that out if you haven't checked it out already. What we have is a 173 Berg and a 170 gram Berg. As always, I want to say please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're at hole one at Cherokee Park Disc Golf Course in Morristown, Tennessee. It's a 265 foot hole. Uh, I failed to mention in the intro, if you want to enter to win these two discs, we will be giving them away. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and find out how. Thanks for watching. Okay, we've noticed in throwing these that they're extremely overstable for putter. So we're going to do it again. Each of us are going to throw it two more times, or each of them one more time. We're going to release them with a lot of Anheuser uh, to see if we can get a little bit more distance out of it. Yeah. 
See the disc? <laughs> Camouflage. Yeah, I'm doing mine. I'm doing mine. I'm Good for trick shots. <laughs> like I said. <sighs> okay, that's it for the review. Uh, now we're going to give honest opinions of what we think of these discs. We were told to be completely honest, whether good or bad, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Myself, personally, 
I like them as a driving putter. They're extremely overstable, a lot more overstable than I thought they were going to be. Uh, even releasing with Anheuser, it still flex back, which really surprised me. The grip is the absolute best grip I've ever felt on a putter, uh, or any disc for that matter. I love the grip on this thing. Uh, as far as putting, uh, I did okay with them. I kind of like it, but in my opinion, it's a little too overstable to putt with. Uh, I like just kind of a straight putter, and this is definitely not that. Jason? Like you said, the grip is great. Um, I think it would be very good in the rain when it's wet. I think the grip would be perfect for that. But I like it for a putter. I like a bead on it, a little bit of a bead. And um, other than that, um, I don't think I would put it in my bag. It is very overstable. But uh, maybe when it gets broken, it'll be more stable. I don't know. But as of right now, they're very overstable for me. But that's what I, that's what I think. I would lock them. Or in the woods for very, very tight shots to get through trees. They're pretty good for hydro shots. I don't like them as a putter, they're way too overstable. But the grip feels amazing. I, I think I would bag it. I like it. A deer. It is a deer, and I'm going to kill the baskets with these discs. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Well, oh, that's cool. I have mixed emotions. As usual. Because I am partial. Um, like everybody else, I do like them as a driving putter. They are overstable. You got to hang high with the heck out of it. Uh, after a while, as they got broke in, it's probably nice. You know, it's got this little grip. You got to really put some stank on it. But as a putter, no. Unless, I mean, if you want to go around an obstacle, for me, it would be like, Going around a tree and come back to the right, yeah, be good. But I, I keep a rhino for that. A good disc. But uh, no, that, that's it's definitely not a putter for me. Driver, yeah, I can do that. Great smoky. <laughs> uh, great grip, <clears throat> which is good for driving. But I still wouldn't use it as a driving disc. Way too overstable. Uh, I don't. I don't really throw any hyzer off the tee pad with a putter, so that's not gonna happen. As far as putting, maybe on a downhill putt, so you don't overthrow it. But uh, it's definitely, I don't like that much grip when I'm actually putting, don't like grip. Um, the only time I would use it if I did have it in my bag was a, maybe a wooded area, mid-range, Anheuser, around the trees, you know, flip right back. That's about it. But they're pretty. <clears throat> they are pretty. Once again, thank you very much to Disc King for allowing us to do this. If you want to enter to win these two discs, uh, they will. We're starting this on these discs now, and we're going to be doing it on every disc from now on that we give away. We're going to put the BDGC stamp right on the front so everybody know where it came from. Uh, so look for that when they get these. I don't have it on it yet, but it will. Uh, if you want to enter to win these, go to our Facebook page. There will be a post where we share uh, this video. Uh, it'll be up for one week. Uh, on, in one week, we will stop the giveaway. Uh, please click like on that post and comment. Pick a number one through 100, and we'll use random.org. Uh, if you do not have a Facebook, just do it right here on YouTube. Comment below, uh, click like on the video, Pick a number one through 100 and a winner will be chosen one week from the day this video is put up. Make sure if you want to enter to win these, make sure you click like on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do the same for Disc King. Uh, subscribe on his channel and make sure you click like on his Facebook page. Also, uh, like I said in the last video, we can't really make sure you do this, but please uh, give Castaplast a like on their Facebook page. Uh, they're making discs for everybody to try out. Uh, lots of people love them, so make sure you give them their props and give them a like on their Facebook page. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf. Also, before we go, I want to say congratulations to the last two winners, Alex Dugan and Nick Brand. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, guys. If not, let me know below. Uh, congratulations to you two. I hope you like your discs. Comment below. Let everybody know what you think. Thanks for watching.
Oh. A little high. A little high. Nah. Released it early. Oh. <laughs> That's plastic. Well, you get three tries. I'll try it again. <laughs> These are overstable crap. They are. Uh. Huh? It matches the yeah. <laughs> Good throw. Give it thumbs up or thumbs down? Hey. What do you think of that? Is? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Hey, Taylor likes it. Here comes Josh. I'm not even mad anymore. <laughs> Look, Taylor Riley. Okay, where was I at? <sighs> Riley's here. I'm so excited. Okay. Please subscribe. Huh? Please subscribe. Please subscribe, my daughter says. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And help promote disc golf. Thanks for watching. <laughs> That's gonna be <laughs> right in the basket. Oh, oh. No, no, no. That's gonna be so much. Put that at the end.